everybody, it's Melanie. Welcome to Friday Favorites and Flops. I hope you guys all had a really good week. I had a good week myself, except my camera that I normally record with bit the dust. And so um, I recorded a few videos with a camcorder that I have, and I normally just use that camcorder to do like candle related videos because the coloring really is like off with it. Um, so that was a little bit frustrating, <laughs> but I'm recording on a new camera that I bought yesterday, or the day, I think I bought it the day before. Um, I think Tuesday? I think I bought it on Tuesday. Uh, the days run together, quite honestly. So this is a newer generation of the camera that I already have. So this is a Nikon Coolpix S7000. And um, I'm hoping that the um, color that comes across on screen here is much better than the camcorder, which sort of looks, it makes everything look very gray. Um, it made my walls even look really oddly like gray and muted. <laughs> but anyway, some of you guys have said that the, the quality was fine, so I don't know. Um, it didn't look all that great on my computer screen, so I went ahead, bit the dust, bought the new camera. Long story short, hopefully you guys like the quality of this video. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and dive right in with Friday favorites and flops because I have some stuff to share with you. At the end, I have a little bit of a, uh, I don't know if this product is working for me yet type of situation, but anyway, so the <laughs> perfume again for this week was M by Mariah Carey, which is one that I am trying to work my way through, and I really like it. I don't know, there's like this weird film on the top of it, and I don't know what that's from. A little bit of it is dust, but like there's, I had this in my bathroom at one point, and I think I got hairspray on the top, but it's not normally the schmutzy. But in terms of fragrance, this is a really heavy, fall, spicy, oriental type of fragrance. This is not going to be for everybody, but I happen to actually really like it. And honestly, I'm surprised that it's still good after all these years because I think I've had this for at least six or seven years. A long time. So... You can understand my desire to get through it because perfume doesn't keep forever and I kind of feel like the color maybe has changed already but still smells the same so I'm, I'm gonna keep going with it but anyway it's good if you've never smelled this one you should really think about seeking it out especially if you like heavier more oriental spicy types of fragrances is what I'm trying to say okay body lotion so I share body lotions from all price points with you guys because I think that there are great products at every price point. So the one that I've really been enjoying this week that is actually really inexpensive is the Mountain Ocean um, Moisturizer. This is their Coconut Skin Trip or Skin Trip Coconut. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know what it's called. There's just a bunch of words on here and whatever. So this is a cruelty free company. They're actually based out of Colorado. Boulder. Yes, Boulder, Colorado. I don't have much left. I think I have about a little more than a quarter of the bottle left. It's a really thin moisturizer, but it absorbs really easily. And it smells so good. It honestly, it smells like something from my childhood, but I can't place it. It does have a coconut, slightly beachy type of scent to it, but also like a weird candy note. It's really hard to explain, but it works great. This is something that I can use on my arms as well. It does have some fragrance in it, I believe. Yeah, but it's the very last ingredient, so there really isn't much fragrance in it at all. But the main ingredients are aloe and coconut oil. Um, there's safflower seed oil. It's just, it's got dimethicone in it, so it's just it's a really good moisturizer for those of you with more sensitive skins. And like I said, it's like under $10. I bought mine off of uh, Vitacost. But if you have a Fred Meyer and you're in the Pacific Northwest, this is in the health food section of Fred Meyer. So you can, you can go there and buy it. 
I have a hair care item to share with you guys and sadly I think this has this has been repackaged and renamed but I think the new version is probably the exact same thing as this it's the alterna caviar amplifying mousse I've been using this all week my hair and you'll notice in a couple of other videos that I pre-recorded I've been going for a little bit more of like a sleek flatter look to my hair I mean it's not flat like I do still have volume and this gives me a really nice amount of volume I actually tame my hair a little bit after using this and blow drying with it but um, I'm getting a haircut on Sunday so I'm just trying to like trying to decide what I want to do whether I just want to get a trim and grow or if I just want to get my usual like short bob I'm leaning towards short bob because I just I don't like myself with longer hair at all this to me is long and it's really irritating but back to the mousse which is what we're talking about I really like this product and I got mine at Nordstrom Rack for $11.97 so I, th I think this has essentially just been repackaged it's for sale I want to say I think it's like $28 maybe at Sephora and Ulta they both carry this vo amplifying volume thickening line from Alterna I do have another one in my cart for VIB so I'm gonna be getting a backup of it I'm just sad that it's not gonna be this exact same one because the new one has less ounces in it so that's a bummer but sometimes companies do that right anyway I really like this if you are a moose girl like me check out the Alterna like volumizing line because it's pretty good um let's talk a couple of lip products for this week so the pink chocolate la creme lipstick from Too Faced I'm gonna link this down below individually but I think you should go do the go go do the set <laughs> I think you should just go buy the set that I showed in my review earlier this week um, there is a holiday kit where you get three of these full-sized um, lipsticks from Too Faced. Two are the La Creme and one is the La Matte. I just think that's such a good deal for $29 because I think individually these are $20 or $22. So for a few extra dollars you might as well just get two other colors. But the pink chocolate is gorgeous. You guys really seem to like it on my lips and I did too. It's a beautiful pink chocolate that's honestly what it looks like it's such a pretty color you guys it's very aptly named and um, I love the formula of these I really like the formula of these lipsticks so beautiful beautiful I would have probably never grabbed this on my own but I'm so glad I have it now and I feel very comfortable wearing it even though it is a slightly darker color on me what I have on my lips right now and what I've also been kind of a little bit obsessed with this week I've kind of been alternating between these two this is uh, buxom big bold gel lipstick bold gel lipstick in rebel rose I really like this one I believe this was in my fall favorite lipsticks pick oh mauve mauvey goodness I love this I can just toss this on and be like yup whatever else I have going on this looks great with it so love that um, if you have never tried these you should try these lipsticks during the VIB sale coming up find a color that you like and just try one beautiful beautiful lipstick I love the wear of them I love the feel they're very comfortable easy to apply I really like those a lot and a couple of skincare items I just did a review of these these are the Kate Somerville exfoliate cleanser and the exfoliate treatment I'm gonna link my in-depth review down below but I love these products these were sent to me through Octoly so um, I got to try them for free which is obviously really nice for me to be able to try it for free but I genuinely love these products so much so that I also have them in my Sephora cart like ready to go um, the next time that I place an order which again I think will probably be around VIB uh, I just don't want to be without them the exfoliate treatment I love to do in the shower twice a week it leaves my skin so soft you guys and just has like a glow to it and the cleanser I love using this at night to take off all of my makeup with my Clarisonic works like a dream like fabulous products you guys 
I know they're expensive. I'm well aware. But for me, if something works really well, I'm happy to pay for those products. Again, there are good skincare products at every single price point. So if you can't afford these, do not feel bad. There are definitely good cleanser options at the drugstore that will work just fine. But if you're someone that likes to splurge and you've always kind of wondered about, oh, okay, let me wipe this lipstick off. <laughs> and you've always kind of wondered about the Kate Somerville stuff, it is, it's a really good line. Uh, go get some samples. Go to Sephora. Th they carry this at Sephora. Go get some samples and just try it. I'm astounded at how little cleanser it takes on my Clarisonic to do my entire face and neck. This would last you forever. It's four ounces, but I have a feeling I'm going to have this for months and months. So love them. Really, really do. And my sort of mm, for this week is from DCM. It's their Hylamide Matte 12 12 Hour Visible Oil Blocker and Pore Vanisher. Okay, so I've only tried this twice now and once under my makeup and once just kind of on its own like to the gym just to see if it would help me from looking super shiny after my workout because I do get a little bit shiny. I think I like this better just on its own. I don't know that this works well with powder foundation, you guys. Um, I have not tried it over powder foundation. Um, I haven't found a day yet where I'm willing to <laughs> potentially redo my makeup if it looks terrible over top. But, I mean, if anything, I'll just I'll finish it by putting it on before going to the gym. But so far, I'm not crazy impressed with this. I still have the pore delete to try, so maybe this one works better. I don't, I don't know. We'll see. I don't think I've, you, you have, ooh, almost stabbed myself. Um, you haven't seen all of the stuff that I purchased yet from DCM because I have a haul video going up on Sunday where I show you guys this stuff. But, uh, yeah, so you're getting a little bit of a sneak peek here. Don't love this quite yet. I'm hoping that I do because I paid $24 for it. So, hopefully I get it. Anyway, that is everything that I have for this week. I hope you guys have a really great weekend and leave me any questions down below and I'll see you guys in the next video.